hi, this is a test. This is a test. One, two. This is a test. Hi all, happy new year. Um, hope everyone is well. Hope all is well with you. Sorry it's been a bit of a long time since my last vlog. Um, I've had a lot of crazy stuff going on. As you can see, I'm in new surroundings. My girl's still there, Rihanna, yeah? Always. Um, yeah, I've moved house since we last spoke. and um, We've had Christmas and New Year, obviously, so there's been those um, days and stuff to celebrate and have things um, going on, which I'll fill you in a bit um, in a little while. Um, also... I've been ill over Christmas and New Year, so it wasn't, you know, I'm not comp complaining. I had a few days in bed, but, um, yeah, I'm okay now. And Harry says hi. Happy New Year. Happy New Year! See? Yeah, he's still with me as well. Always. Um, today is a very significant day. It's f 18 months today since I um, started this journey. Can't believe how far I've come. And if you look back at my other videos, it's incredible. Um... When I'm feeling down or I've lost my way a bit, I'll, you know, transition. It's not just about happiness, it's about sad times and wondering and everything else. I, um, I'll sometimes go back and look at my old stuff and my goodness, how far I have come in such a short period. I think it's a very short period anyway. Um, so what's been going on for me? Sorry, don't mean to scratch my head. Um, a lot of things. Firstly, as you can see, I am in new surroundings, um, you know, for... A few reasons that just, you know, I had to move and um, my tenancy was up basically and, you know, my friend was going to live with her partner, so she is. Hi babe, love you lots. Um, so, yeah, I'm moving, I'm now living with a lovely lady um, who is very accepting, not that you should be accepting of someone, you should, you know, if they're a nice person and they're going to pay the rent on time, why wouldn't you want them living with you? But yeah, she is lovely anyway and... Hi babe, if you're watching this, um, I won't name your name because I haven't asked permission, but um, I feel settled, really settled, I'm, you know, it's a lovely house, the room's great, you know, it's very affordable and also um, feels like a home, um, yeah, really does, so I'm really happy, so that's been good. Um, what, happened, what else has happened since I last saw you guys? I've had more work done on my back, tattoo, I'm not going to show it. You guys, that I think I think that's something for other um, social media streams that I take part in. Um, if you want to check any of those out, by all means, go on Twitter and look for me, Debbie Louise Cannon. I am on there. You can follow me if you want. Um, Facebook's a bit different. That's personal, so I'd have to know you. Um, but yeah, I'm on there as well. Um, so when I last spoke, we had um, just come back from Jaron Cross and. They said they were going to write a letter to my GP to tell them what to prescribe me. Um, I've been on the increased levels of oestrogen for about four weeks now, I think. Three, four weeks. And the difference is incredible. Um, certainly the mood swings, I wasn't anticipating that so quickly. Um, feeling more emotional. Um, crying more. I think I thought I'd forgot to cry, but maybe it was just a phase in my life I was going where I didn't feel the need to. But certainly... Um, having more and more empathy, which is a bit strange because I found myself quite em empathetic anyway, but certainly, I don't know, a heightened um, empathy and sympathy and everything else, but also physically, um, it's it's really weird. My boobs have just gone boom all of a sudden. Um, I'm probably around an A cup now, which is incredible because pre-me going to that appointment, there was a bit of twinge is there every now and again but you know nothing to see physically but my god it's just gone bam so I love boobs I love shoes and I love tattoos Gina that was for you <laughs> but um yeah that's been really really cool um I think this year and this at this point in my transition it's all about just being moving forward continuing to be happy and also accepting myself um, I have beat myself up a lot in the past about the things I used to be and do and you know you kind of remove yourself from everything that you used to like and do in order to be something else and I fully get that and I understand the, the psychology of why I've done that but you know I'm, I'm more settled now I'm happy in myself I'm happy in me you know I'm single I'm not in a relationship 
I don't really need to be in a relationship at the moment. I just, you know, I'm happy being me. And if someone comes along, then she's a lucky lady as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, if she doesn't, I'll just continue being happy. Um, saw my daughter um, the Friday after Christmas. That was amazing, as usual. Um, she's so fantastic and so accepting and everything else. It was really wonderful to see. I was dosed up to the eyeballs because I was on, you know, I had a really bad um, cold. I wouldn't see a flu because I wouldn't be able to drive if it was flu. But yeah, certainly it was wonderful to see her. Um, mixed emotions just because I was in the married home for the whole duration. And um, it was weird being back there as myself. Um, you know, having lived there for so long you know, when I was a male, it was very odd, but I don't know, maybe it laid a few ghosts as well, I think if I go back again, then it certainly won't feel as weird, so that's good, um, Christmas was okay, um, in fact it was wonderful, I spent time with my friend, um, Helen, hi babe, and she, um, did a wonderful meal and we just sat all day and watched old films and got pissed. It was actually quite good. But to be fair, I've never, uh, forgive me, um, it's just the way it's happened, but certainly I've never seen an um, Audrey Hepburn film and she put on Roman Holiday. Missed it because we just chatted the whole time. Um, but that's what happens when you haven't seen a mate for a while, doesn't it? You just catch up. But So that was really, it was a nice way to spend Christmas. A very different way, but a very nice way in effect. Um, and then Boxing Day, I came back home and kind of went to bed because I felt rubbish you know to rest for the next day and I was in bed the weekend after that as well so never mind I'm over it now Woo which is good um I know I've said I've had issues with family as well and acceptance and everything um I phoned my mom when did I phone I think it was Christmas Eve um just to tell her that I loved her and I hope that she was okay and I wished her a Merry Christmas and she you know I think she was quite shocked to hear from me um, on the phone because the last time I spoke to her was August 2012 and she said I can't accept you. Um, the, the, the conversation in a nutshell was um, she got the letter I sent her but didn't want to comment on it. Um, I asked if she got it and she said yes. That was it. You know, no, nothing else offered. Um, I asked her if she wanted to keep contact with me and she goes every now and again so I know you're okay. It kind of hurt a lot because if she can't see that I'm happy and accept me for who I am, then part of me thinks, well, why should I bother? But, you know, there's another side that says um, it's not a no. So I'm struggling with that. So at the moment, I'm keeping myself... I'm, I've kind of put it to side for, for a moment and I'm going to wait and see what happens when I get this letter from Charon Cross and, you know... My hormones and stuff, you know, levels may change because I'm going to give them, they're going to give me stuff which will block the testosterone. So, you know, I might change differently emotionally and stuff. And um, I'm probably, I, I will be going through a divorce this year as well. So I've got a lot of things to deal with emotionally anyway. So I just think that to deal with everything um, is going to be too much for me. So I'm trying to just break it down to make it easier for me because I do work you know seven days at the week, a week currently and I have done more or less since April last year so yeah um, I'm looking forward to February onwards I'm going to be having every Wednesday off which will be good um, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last blog I did apply for a, um, a project lead position within my employer LV basically it, they're running a project on diversity and inclusion and um, I applied for the main project lead role I had my feedback today, I didn't get the job, the lead role um, position, but um, they were really impressed with my knowledge of the subject and passion, but also how I'd researched um, that position and also the answers that I gave, so, you know, I'm sometime in the next, you know, couple of weeks, they're going to be, I'm going to be speaking to them to discuss how I'll be involved in the project moving forward, so whilst I didn't get the lead position, I'm still going to have a chance to influence the project and to offer my knowledge and expertise and hopefully make a difference and to me that's what life's all about it's about I think it's about personal fulfillment but it's also about you know connections with people and the difference that you make and if you can make a difference to one person in a day then as far as I'm concerned 
you know, you've done what you, what life's all about anyway. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to Charing Cross, and I'm also, you know, I guess looking forward to another year filled with amazing things and adventures and meeting new people and and everything else. Um, yeah, life's good. Life is really good. I'm kind of, you know, I don't know what else to say. I've settled. Um, I'm happy in myself. My career is progressing as I want it to. I think I've also found the career path I intend to go down. Um, you know, for me, I think that the soft side of stuff, like the people skills, the kind of um, managing people in situations and stuff, but from a an empathetic kind of view, almost a motherly kind of view, I think that you know that that's the that's the career path I want to go down. So something to do with people. Um, I do a claims job at the moment. It's very analytical, and you know, whilst I'm, I'm I think I'm really I'm I'm quite good at my job. I think I certainly think that those are skills that I can take into a into the career path that I want to choose. But certainly um, that I have chosen. Sorry, but um, yeah, I think I have skills that are better suited, and. If there's one thing that is, is very apparent to me in these past 18 months, it is that I'm a people person. And that's the route I'm going. So it's all good stuff, all exciting times. Um, and it's going to be my birthday in less than a month. I'll be 41. I know I look good. I don't even look 31, do I? Don't be cheeky. Um, yeah. So all in all, life is good. Things are progressing. Um, I will blog again. Around about my birthday, it's it's hitting me. I see it's between four to four to eight weeks, basically, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I mean, if you look at how far I've come, I think my face is changing. Um, I'm finding my voice. It's just this seems to be its natural level. It sometimes goes deeper. And I was going to blog between Christmas and New Year, but I sounded like Barry White, and I looked probably not. Uh, as attractive as he was as well, so yeah, that's, you know, runny nose and streaming eyes and stuff, it was disgusting, so you didn't want to see that, definitely not, this is far more fabulous, anyway, um, yeah, thanks ever so much for watching, um, you guys kind of, even though not, I don't get many comments at all really, but the fact that there are people out there who are watching it means that, you know, there is an interest there, and ultimately, if I can help one person with each blog, it's enough for me, so, 18 months in, you're doing great, keep it up, Thanks again, and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.